62 Chevrolet Impala two-door hardtop here at Unique, especially in Classics. 350 V8 powered now. That is paired up with a Power Glide automatic transmission. Power steering, AC, AC blows cold. Take a look at the front grille, headlight surrounds, bumper, chrome and bright work. Look good up front. Has had a repaint to red. Few, just real small, maybe touch ups that I noticed in a couple spots. Kind of even tough to see. Some of them are so small. So paint shows well, but there are a few touch ups here and there. Red on red, red interior. This vehicle will come with a three month, 500 mile warranty protection plan also. And that may be extendable out to 10 years. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. You can call us 507 386 1726. UniqueClassicCars.com is where you can see the still pictures of this car. Undersides, interior, engine bay, all around it. Inside and out, top to bottom. Riding on America Racing, five spoke chrome wheels. Let's take a look down this passenger side at the bright work, how straight these panels are. Personally ridden this car too, it does ride out very nice. As you'll be able to see, in the driving video of this car. Vinyl cloth seating combination, bench seat up front. We'll get around to the driver's side, I'll start it up, let you hear it run, we'll take a look at the engine bay. But first I want you to remember as we do consider trades, financing is available. And of course, we can assist with transportation. Also, remember we have an open door policy for third party inspectors. If you can't make it yourself, maybe because of time restraints or distance, not a problem having a third party inspector come check it out. I think he's going to find that rear chrome and taillight surround to be in good shape, just like you see in the video in the pictures. We actually have a hoist in the back that if they want to use the hoist and get it up in the air and look underneath it, that's no problem either. So if you want somebody to come take a look at it, feel free to. We do try to represent these as fairly as possible with all the still pictures that are taken as well as the driving video and the walk around video like this. As you can see up and down the driver's side, very similar to the passenger side, also in nice shape, bright work and good condition. And of course, those nice chrome American Racing five spoke wheels. And as you can see, seat belts intact in the rear. Now, you do have the rear speaker and uh, front. There's a switch for clicking back and forth to both just the front or just the rear. That's underneath the dash. Um, I have not had the radio. Um, how should I say it? Play a station. It'll power up. You can get some static, but I have not had it play any music or station. Now, this gets a little weird on this one. As you can see on that camera video right there, kind of looks like it's doing a flickering on those seats. Those seats are black and like light red. It this is washing it out, and the lines are playing kind of a trick. But like this backrest right here, we can kind of see it's more red. That's what it's like. It washes out when I get on top of it in the pictures. And I'm sorry, but I can't really give you a true color of that seat because it keeps wanting to wash out. So it is kind of red and black blend, just so you know it's not faded out like that. See, it starts easily. Um, AC runs off this right here, so fan. That's kicking the fan on. This air will blow it out through these vents down below the dash. And that AC is on right there, blowing cold. So we'll pull it back up, turn the fan on. That'll kick off the compressor. We do have an aftermarket tack underneath here, and there's what I was talking about that speaker switch where you can go between the speakers, aftermarket gauges. Oil pressure looks good, water temp's coming up. Voltmeter may not be hooked up, and it appears the fuel.
fuel gauge is working up here. Dash looks good. Up the headliner. Good sounding car too. Again, 350 V8 paired up with that Power Glide automatic transmission. Nice deep exhaust note. Let's slip up to the front. I'm gonna pause this one second. Let me get this hood popped. Check out the engine bay and we'll wrap up this video. Underside of the hood, nice and clean and tidy. There it is. There's an Edelbrock four barrel on there with Edelbrock intake manifold. Some nice chrome dress up with the valve covers and air cleaner cover. Aluminum radiator. Power steering. There's your AC. And again, that is in working order, blowing cold. 1962 Chevrolet Impala Sport Coupe or two-door hardtop. Three months. 500 mile warranty protection plan included in the purchase of this vehicle. May be extendable out to 10 years. Consult with your sales associate, 507-386-1726. UniqueClassicCars.com. Check out all the still pictures, including the underside. We do consider trades. Financing is available. And of course, we can assist with transportation. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Today we're driving a 1962 Chevrolet Impala. This will be a two-door in red. Red outside and inside, very nice looking. This is one of the smoothest running Impalas I think I've driven. Great start, great idle, just very smooth at the throttle. Also really, really good power from this car. Both our turn signal indicators work. Under the dash we have vintage looking gauges from Auto Gauge. Water temperature about 170, oil pressure. 50. The volt gauge does not work under the dash. <clears throat> fuel, factory fuel gauge is reading just under half. This is Dr. Terry Olson. Factory looking uh, AM radio is working. If I let go of the steering wheel while we're driving, just stay straight in the lane. The steering wheel does appear to be clocked slightly to the left, but that does not affect performance. This is an automatic on the column, so of course very easy to drive. Our brakes are working well. This car in great shape inside and out. Interior looks like new to me. Corners very well. There's that power and throttle response. This car is really crisp on the throttle. Great running vehicle. Our wipers work, our blower motor works. Even the radio, of course, is working. Take a look at all the pictures of this car at